so this will be close. We did late join this one. All right, 2031, but not deleting 2031. All right, push gas gambit to catch up. Here we go, here we go. Except, no, got a, got an Italian. Let's see what we can do here. Bishop H4 would be nice. And then we get to go here. Ah. Um, G takes is spicy. Let's do it. Let's do something really spicy. Try and get him. Who knows? Yeah, a little bit suspicious because my king's not castled yet, so I could have some issues here. But knight d2 wasn't the right choice. Knight c3 would have been much more uh, frustrating. All right, I can take away queen h5. We're still trying to do attack even against the guy who really, really wants equality. He said no double-edged position. I said yes. And it takes, I want to go, mm, I don't really have it. Try and checkmate him here. Let's see what we got. We got some pins, got some files, got maybe another knight coming in. That's the juicy spot. G3 might be obliged here. It would be cool. I would... Maybe I could take that rook? I mean, I could. I just meant maybe I would take that rook. Um, I could also swap the knight before. We went here. Let's go h5, h4. It's just freedom. I don't know. I'm not even taking the time to castle because he's got nothing that can harm my king. At least at the moment. Castling's not going anywhere, but maybe... My dream of checkmating on g2 is position's very cramped. This pin's very good. Like he really like wants to like use this, but he can't. And yeah, the g file. Look at that g file, man. Bush gas denier with the torment on the line had to break through. Okay, if he takes, if I take this one, then he takes. Maybe that's the end of the line. Oh. Oh. Maybe not. Take it. Take. King h1. Bishop f3. Don't mind if I do. Oh, so he acknowledges down a piece. Okay. Oh, jk. I didn't even see that. All right. Huh. F takes is a very smart move. Don't lose that. Let's get our knight right there. Would be good. <laughs> uh, but, oh, it would be good for a number. Oh, don't hang that. Yeah, that would have been not good. Yeah, I want that square for a check because that also that breeds sacrifices on h2, take, take, and then mate on the h file. Knight d4 is very nice. Threatens that. And I would love to get that check. Go oh, step over. I almost have a mating pattern right now. Not quite. But this is big threats. I was talking about take, take, check, and check. But this is big threats, because I'm threatening now to take it, and then queen h5 with the... Um, I, I'm forgetting the name of that mate, but I know that mate has a name, or like the knight screens those squares. So that's big, and then h3, my bishop's going to take it. Everybody's doing a great job, and this queen took way too long to probe. It's going to take, and then take, but it takes too many moves. So there we get him with a nice, nice little finish at the end. Exactly, exactly what the chef drew up there. Chef cooked up. <laughs> um, trying to take away that square. Anastasia's mate. Yeah, that's probably right. Yeah, that was an interesting game. Um, but oh, oh wait, we gotta go back to the arena because we gotta. Oh, we gotta get, we gotta get our crown here. I need one more game. I need one more game to catch the great boy. I never even got paired against great boy. I don't want to be that guy, but Great Boy's highest rated victory is 2262 here. All right, we got to finish this quick. Okay, here we go. All right, same exact line, knight h6. All right, let's play a five. Try and get him that knight. Awkward there, isn't it? Mm. 
I don't know, we're just going to go all out here. Take my pawn, take the stuff. I just want to get you. I was going to go queen g5 and try to pin. Knight g5, so the rook... Oh, yes! <laughs> I was going to say, so you didn't have rook g8. Okay, wait, we got him there. Yes! We, we won the... We won the arena. <laughs> we won the arena. Uh, yeah, we stormed back and we took that one. Um, nice, nice, nice. Yeah, wait, let's have a look at those last two. Those last two games. Ooh, okay. So, yeah, all right, here's here's the analysis of that last one. So lots of question marks coming in as my opponent refuses to accept the bush gas gambit with question marks for not taking it, question marks for offering it, question marks for not taking it. Okay, now finally, with our average centi pawn loss in the triple digits, we can proceed. So... Basically, what I like to try to do, even though, like, if white really knows what they're doing, they're, they're totally fine. Like, they should not be able to get attacked here. However, what I like to do in this is try to do offside castles to allow some attacks, especially against lower-rated players. I like to play bishop to g4, uh, trying to cause this pin, and then maybe an 8d4, put some pressure on the pin. And then if h3, I like to use that as a hook to try to trade off the pawns, like with h6, sorry, with, like, h6, rook g8 try to trade off the pawns, and then really use the g-file and try and keep my king safe over here. So that's the general framework of what I'm trying to do here. Bishop g5, so I'm happy to play h6, and if you come back, I play g5. My opponent's probably realizing this. Typically, these pins are quite annoying, but I'm very happy to play g5 because I'm not castled, and my king will go the other way, and I'll just really take a head start on this attack. I'm very happy about this. My king's not here. It's here, and it's going to be here, very safe. And these guys will go try and trap the bishop and such. Uh, so it takes, and then I actually played g takes, I mean, not the best according to the engine, but I think it's a nice practical decision. I'm really just trying to play rook g8, bishop h3, pressure here, uh, and get my king out of there, like I said. So I I, I, I want to open the file when my king's going to opposite sizes my opponent. So they play an bd2, which I don't think... Yeah, so I, what I was ma mainly afraid of was a queen coming to h5 and some pressure here, and then maybe a knight coming to f5. Like I said, there, I mean, there's threats here because my king is not castle. Like, I haven't actually finished development. But an bd2, it's like a pretty logical move. And it allows me to, to now play rook g8, and now after knight h4 was played, I'm able to play bishop g4, so my rook is now there to protect it. And there's also no f3, which would be kind of like a nice defense because of the pin. So my bishops here are now working quite well. It's a pretty good bishop pair. And, of course, my rook is on the ideal file, pointing right at my opponent's king. So opponent's queen slides over, and I now play f5. I guess maybe knight in was a little better. Knight in, I guess the idea would have played bishop e2, trying to maybe trap that. But f5, I don't know. I'm hitting this knight, and I'm just kind of freeing my guys to go for it. So they play knight takes f5, which is the only move, because that knight was hanging, and now queen comes into g5. And now, so I sacrifice that pawn. We've got some really serious threats, because if my opponent does whatever, like, I'm just going to play either bishop takes knight or even bishop f3, uh, and just, like, it doesn't even matter. Like, I'm just going to take here, or take here in this. Uh, my, my opponent plays what I think is a very good defensive move here. Oh, it actually got two question marks. Just kidding. Um, well, I guess g3 was the move. Bishop h3, I would take that, but I guess that maintains equality if you're white. You give that exchange. Um, so here, yeah, g3 was better. Kind of interesting. g3, yeah, bishop h3, or, or, or even just trying to keep that bishop at saying knight e7, trade off for the strong knight, and just kind of keep this attack down a pawn. Knight g3, the issue, uh, was apparent in the game. There's really only one way to get through this knight, which is now stopping all this, but it is nonetheless a way, and it's this last pawn here, h5, h4, here it comes, and that knight cannot sit around here for long, after which I'm just going to move this bishop and then try and take on g2 with my overwhelming pieces at this point, and I've really only sacrificed a pawn for it. So my opponent really tried to decline the bush gas gambit. I think this is kind of ironic that they really tried to decline the bush gas gambit, but yet in this position, if you look at it, I am down a pawn, and I have a great attack, which is exactly what I was going for uh, in the beginning. Playing ap3, trying to take this strong bishop, but h4 takes, and now this was a poor decision on my part, which was h takes g3. So this is kind of an interesting moment, because so it, I should just take this back, and now this knight is just toast, because if this knight moves, like, anywhere, like, let's say here, I, I don't know, it's hard to even say in anywhere, but that's going to be a mate threat. Even, like, knight h1, like, I just come here, I mean, like, come on. Like, okay, now we'll zigzag in here, probably. So, um... Like, I just keep the knight in a very difficult situation. But my idea was, like, takes. And so now, if you, like, save this knight, then I was going to take h2. 
and now bishop f3. This was, this was my very tricky idea, and eventually I land on the coveted g2 square, like, for example, like this. Uh, and it's pinned, right, so there's no g3. Kind of a fun way to do it, but they didn't save the knight. My opponent correctly, right, you'll, actually, I'll tell you, the evaluation is swinging from minus 2.2. Here, I'll even make this bigger. There you go. From minus 2.2 .2 to... Uh, plus 1.5 when I take this, and the point was because of f takes g3, a very good move by my opponent, leaving that knight hanging, and they open up the rook and the bishop right there. So I take on c5, and they take f7, check, forking here, and so now we get the situation where it's better for white, because, so I have a bishop and knight for the rook, but they actually have three extra pawns, it's these three. And I really only had one idea, which was bringing my knight in here, and it somehow worked out. So queen c3 hit this, I had to defend it. Now queen c4, which wasn't the best, because it, it, like, okay, I understand you're trying to hope that I miss this, but I have a really easy way to deal with it, I think, which is bishop e6. So I guess, yeah, something like rook f2, and just being able to just keep me out of this e2 square. And white just has a rook and three pawns for a bishop and knight. And my king is... While not able to be got, it is uh, it is in a precarious situation in the middle of the board, I guess. So bishop b6, queen c4, bishop e6 deals with that very well. Queen b5, also not a good move, because knight d4 is what I wanted to do anyway. Now hits the queen, and we're looking at that square. So queen a6, but now, like, you see the queen did a lot of moves without really creating a serious threat on my king. And so now, uh, white is out of time, so check, king h1, rook h8. And it's already reading mate and six on the board because we are, have some very, very nice threats. And there's really no way to guard this, I guess, because like h3, I could take it. Or, or I mean, there's a million other ways through. But yeah, queen takes a7, queen takes c7 is too many moves away. Um, in the game, my opponent just goes here. I guess it attacks the knight, but we have Anastasia's mate here with the knight screening all this. So uh, fun game back and forth. Obviously, I made a lot of mistakes. I, I had uh, 90 seconds on my clock there. And then for in terms of the other one... You else hate the new Leechress white arrows. Yeah, I think they can toggle it. I'm not sure. Um, but yeah, I'll get to that. Anyway, in this game, it's kind of interesting against this um, candidate master wh where he hung this mate. So he plays here rook b8. So, he, so he's playing pawn takes c6, which is not great because it doubles these pawns. And also, like, there's no like, knight, knight d4 ideas anymore. But he's taking advantage of this file. Um, it's not going to be where my king is. And so knight h6, trying to fight against f5 while not blocking it. And here I really saw f5 coming next turn for black, after which I would never be able to play this, which would never free my bishop and rook. So I just decided to kind of go for it, sacrifice this pawn. Uh, queen e1, we shift over, so they take it. It's not something I'm going to take back, because then bishop takes f6, bishop g6 is a really, really good defender, and then I really am just down a pawn. And it's a very good pawn too, because they can just take the whole center. Uh, but I, I, I don't intend to take back. So if they take, I'll take here, and I'm happy to get rid of that. So I'm playing queen h4, I'm continuing my maneuvery here. So that's why I played f4 and f5 for. It freed the bishop, it freed this line for my queen, and it should free my rook. So queen h4 hit that knight, knight here, kick it, knight back, bishop h6. So I'm really just leaving that all alone. Bishop takes h6 gets two question marks, so it's kind of interesting. Oh, rook takes b2. Yeah, I guess we both missed the fact that queen g5 doesn't win. There's an 88. And I guess black is just hanging on here, and maybe... There's no way through right now. I don't know. Maybe the rook needs to come around, knight h4 or something. But it, it is a lot of pawns. You know, you, you need to you need to have something. I guess just king h8 next turn if you're black. And everything might go away, uh, according to big engine number. But bishop takes h6 was played. I, well, to be clear, I mean, this is only point two, So, like, let's say rook takes b2. Okay, it's more than that. Hmm. Anyway, in the game, bishop takes h6, queen takes h6, and now it's already plus 3. My opponent slides king h8, and then this key move, knight g5. Uh, and this is very bad for black, because if they could get in rook g8, rook g6, then I think they'd be fine. And then they'd control enough squares around their king. But now this knight is very frozen, and I intend to just try to make a move. Like, maybe just takes an 84, and then I'm going to just try to hit that knight and get here. And I don't know how black is going to be able to swing more resources over, and I don't think they can. So, for example, rook g8 trying to do that, and knight takes f7, just hung mate, the rook needed to guard this. So that's why knight g5 actually was needed here, or else the whole advantage goes away. All right, yeah, subscribe if that goes on YouTube. Please stream more often. Okay, I will stream more often. <laughs>
<laughs> I will. Gotta gotta give the people what they want. I will. I, I enjoy this. Thank you. That's so nice. Berserk here. Let's play a bush gas gambit. Looks like a pretty good setup to me. How's the lighting? It's probably better. Let's see if we get an acceptance of that bush gas. No, we don't. Brutal. That mic near me. This would be lovely. Yeah. That's what we like to see. G5. And we're going to run the other way. Oh, actually, that was a missed opportunity to play this H5 line. It's a cool way to win. I play your queen D7, looking at bishop takes H3, but I'm also just going to just go for H5, H4. Yeah. Mm, that was a missed opportunity there. Play your this H5, knight takes H4, knight takes F7, and this line that gives the queen. I have a video on that. H4, good move. Maybe knight H7 here looks a little tricky. I'm looking at knight takes G5. Because if I just took H4, then I activate that bishop. But yeah, basically, so I'm definitely castling long here. We're definitely castling long. And we've got a head start in our attack. So here we come with... Ooh, maybe this move h4 first. Knight takes. Knight takes. They can uh, give their queen. No. Maybe h4, h3 here. Looks fun. Yeah, here we come with h3. Real Phoenician! How's it going? Been a minute. Yeah, I mean, this pin's gonna kill them. I'm undermining this pawn. Look at this guy. I marched all the way to h3. Um, this is what I love to do. You know, when they go bishop g5, a really, really nice way to take advantage of that is to play h6 g5. I believe here we've got a few things we can do. Let's put some pressure here. Gotta watch the clock. 21 seconds. I think, yeah, they, they can give their queen. Or no, they can't even. Queen takes f2. We'll kill them. So I could play your rook h2 and take f3. I could trade everything and grab their queen with rook h2. I can also slaughter them on the g-file. I think, actually, after bishop g3 here... No, but they didn't even... I'm not sure if this was the most effective route. Like, quickest to mate. But I have another rook that I can bring in. Here, for instance, bishop f2 is probably even better than rook h3, although they were both quite good. Oh, I also just missed mate in 1 with queen h4. Yeah, I literally missed mate in 1 there. But this is mate. Oh, it's check. Rook h8. I think it's fine to pre-move, right? Yeah. Okay, GG. Good to see you. Thanks for joining. All right, so we opened up that with a win.